Hi, uh, can I get a large hazelnut cold brew with cream? Okay. That's it? Go ahead and put forward. Thank you. Thank you. For old time's sake, this is it. We're, vlog we're vlogging one more time. <laughs> This is how long I've been vlogging. I'm going back to like my phone. <laughs> I'm so tired of carrying big cameras around. Are you just like kneeling? Yeah. Get a. Is there nothing else in the room to sit in? No. Really? Oh no, there's a thing right there. Ah, nice. Yeah. Oh, it's got wheels on it. Too. <laughs> wow, I just turned that off so that we wouldn't have all the white noise, and then they started vacuuming. What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> Did we get it? <laughs> Thumbnail. I uh. It's so loud. <laughs> I don't know. It, maybe it's not that loud on video. Maybe we just look stupid because we're complaining about it. Maybe not. I don't know. It's, you know, they're, they're getting ready. For, it's like 2 o'clock. They let us check in super early, so they're just... They're just getting ready for the uh, the day. Did did you just ask them to stop vacuuming? <laughs> no. What Come did on, you do, Mister Connections over here? How rude would that be? It was super rude, especially because they let us check in super early. What? Oh no! I just asked her how long it was gonna, how long she was gonna be going for. <laughs> do we look overexposed? Does that look like yeah. too bright? Yeah. I look like I'm glowing. Yeah, is that much better? Is that better? Mm-hmm. Okay. She's like, I'll go quick. I was like, I was like, I was like, is there any way you come back in like 10 minutes? She's like, it's the last thing I have to do. I was like, I'm sorry. You do what you got to do. Go do that. <laughs> so we are in Binghamton, New York. Uh, I am running a networking workshop for undergraduate students tonight at SUNY Binghamton. Uh, this was actually a, an, uh, an event that I booked uh, from the SUNY CDO conference that should be right about here uh, that Nevin came to help me with. Last summer in uh, Lake Placid. That was a good trip. That was a fun trip. That was, <laughs> that was a fun trip. That was a good trip. That was the, the castle on the hill. <laughs> I don't even think the mic can hear it, but like... <laughs> you can't believe how loud that is here. So yeah, so I'm running a, a workshop tonight. It's a two-hour uh, workshop for, as I said, undergrad students to learn the magic of networking, uh, as it were. Secrets to a sustainable career. That's the uh, program title. Uh, but really, it's it's all the stuff I normally talk about, connection and communication strategies, but more specifically uh, designed for implementing in professional networking situations so that when they graduate or even before they graduate, they can start uh, building their network and, um, you know, finding new opportunities and, and pursuing a career. And I'm going to be filming it. And so. Nevin's going to help me film. We have this uh, new lens that we're testing out, uh, which I'm not going to mention exactly what it is yet, but I'm very excited about it. So far, so good. Coming soon, yeah. It's going to be Yeah, good. it yeah. should be. It, it should be probably the video following this vlog, because I'll put this up and then I'll put up a review <laughs> of the lens. When do you think this vlog will go up? Three months from now? Mm, that's generous. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have four more vlogs from Disney that I haven't edited yet. Oh yeah, Disney I'm still waiting in... on part three, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have seven parts to that trip. I filmed all oh, seven days. I have seven. I, I I edited the first two. That that trip was November. It's it's the end of March right now. No hotel will ever top the hotel with an arcade <laughs> built into it. That was, no I could have stayed there forever. Like, we wasted so much money. That Although was, it's not, it wasn't a waste. I don't think it was a waste. because da Daisy, I, I see Daisy every day. The, oh, your flower? The, yeah. <laughs> the flower that I, I, I Velcroed to the dashboard of my car. She she reacts to the sun. So like if I even if I'm having a bad day, I get in the car, start <laughs> driving, and she's like, hi, it's a good day. And she's just like... <laughs> Thank you.
That is the challenge of human connection in a world that is becoming a little bit less friendly, a little bit more distracted, a little bit more divisive on a daily basis. And that is your task tonight to learn how to do that. Because almost every industry and almost every organization right now is desperately trying to push humanity out of the equation. We are trying to automate and artificial intelligence and compute every ounce of humanity out of it. And I guarantee you, mark my words tonight, that the people, organizations, and industries who succeed in this new world are gonna be those who do the opposite, who double down on human, meaningful, in-person interaction, who find ways to show up for the people in their lives, to look people in the eye and say, I hear you, I see you, I'm here for you. And if you can learn to weave a network of people who trust you, if you can learn to make people feel heard, understood, and valued, the opportunities will open up in your life in abundance in ways that you cannot possibly imagine. Nothing like vlogging through a dirty window. Good morning. This is a normal time. It's only nine. All right, so, how's my hair? <laughs> See the grays, awesome. So, last night. Average success? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah, so what happened last night was uh, they didn't get nearly as many students as they were hoping to. What happened though partly is that this was a reschedule. This was supposed to be last month and there was a massive blizzard and it canceled everything and we had to reschedule for, for this. So they had like over 200 students last month that had um, registered to be there and then the reschedule and whatever and they only got like 50 students and a handful of local business professionals, a few alumni. So for those who were there, it was like super impactful. I think it was like really meaningful to the people who were there, the students, and also the professionals, if not more so actually. <laughs> uh, but I, and then we were there forever though. I mean, we were there forever. Oh, yeah. When I was done, I mean, the, the program itself ran like two hours and 15 minutes. And when, after I was done, I spent another, what, hour 15 maybe? Hour and a half. Hour and a half with students that were coming up to me over and over and over with just personalized questions about their careers and their goals and everything like that. So um, always appreciate anybody who's interested in my insight or my opinion. Do my best to help. It was a long night. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, food. We did. We ended up at Roadhouse Grill, like, um, was it Texas Roadhouse Grill? Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Um, yeah. Like 30 minutes before they were supposed to close. But they were good. And we uh, we met up with a student. Was he actually an undergrad? Was yeah, he, he was a junior. Was, yeah. he, was he like 20? Yeah, I would have yeah. pegged him for 25 in like any crowd. Yeah, no, he um, was about to. Well, he was like well spoken. And, he was and, a younger, he was, I think he was a year <laughs> younger than me. Yeah. Uh, but he was. He, you know, I don't think he really needed to be at your speech because he was already really outgoing and really outspoken. He was. It was very, Ra Rajay, right? Rajay, yeah. yeah. He was very personable. I wish we had gotten a single photo with him or anything. <laughs> Wait, did we get... Oh, you you, you got some video of him. Yeah, okay. I got a video of him giving a testimonial. Rajay, I'm a junior at Benton University. One thing I got away from Brian's speech was, I see you, I hear you, I, and I'm here for you. I think making people feel comfortable around you is a very important thing. So that was Rajay. Uh, we ended up spending like, uh, dinner with him. He, he came off campus, he met us, uh, and he was mostly there, I think, to uh, ask questions, get some insight on whether or not he should drop out of school and pursue a business that he's trying to create for himself, which of course I can't answer for anybody, but we kind of just talked him through what that's like and answered some questions for a while. Uh, that was one of the more meaningful things of the whole night, I think. Yeah, you know, the. Dinner was really personal, you know, like sitting down one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't get any more, you know, 
personal than that. Mm-hmm. You can give a speech to hundreds, but having a one-on-one conversation, the result of that is... Especially over a meal. Oh, yeah. And meal, because yeah. because there is something about sitting around and having a meal, and it, it becomes a... a it, you become more personal on that level. Yeah, like, you don't share a meal with a stranger. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's just almost no situation in life. So, anyway. Actually, um, I once. That was really cool. Did, you did once? Yeah, yeah. I bet that was cool. It was at McDonald's. It was actually... There was a guy who works at McDonald's by where I live. He was sitting by himself. I was there alone. So, how long did it feel like a stranger? Probably seconds. And yeah. Then, he told yeah. me all about how, like, he grew up right. in a newspaper industry and he was on a computer all the time. And, and it, his story was so cool. And then the you know company shut down because newspapers were closing. Sure. So, then he didn't... He wasn't there long enough to retire, so now he's at McDonald's working. Oh, you know, no. He doesn't even he doesn't even not like it though. He likes it there. I don't know. It's oh. it such a cool story. And he oh. told me about you know McDonald's being fifteen cents for like burgers oh, and yeah. fries. Like he was back. Yeah. Like he was an older gentleman. So like the stories you hear, man, they're well, they're really cool. I'm still tired. <laughs> <laughs> I need coffee. I need some food. We need to get on the road because I'm running a half day workshop for a corporate event tomorrow so I need to get back to Connecticut with enough time to prepare for that so um, maybe some more b-roll maybe not otherwise signing off so okay what is that Coffee. Frozen caramel coffee. It's a morning milkshake. <laughs> a morning milkshake. Yeah. <laughs>